you guys remember Krishan Rock went viral a couple of days ago when she was in Walmart and she was mishandling Krishan Jr. Now she went live and basically said that Blueface didn't want to help her with the house. He didn't want to help her furnish the house or anything. Now Blueface did go on his Instagram story and showed how he tried to get Krishan a penthouse. He was going to pay for all the bills. He even talked about what happened in Atlanta with the whole little baby situation. I got a whole story for y'all tonight. I don't understand how this woman keeps like trying to make me seem like I didn't try to help her pay her bills prior. I didn't try to help her find a situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. So this is what happened. Like I told y'all, she's been planning to do bad disease. I'm thinking bad disease will happen after the baby's born. She was like, no, they ready to gear up. I'm going to do it while I'm pregnant. I said... Oh um, yeah? You serious? You wanna go on a WWE fight show while you're pregnant? So I try to you no know, chop it up with her. Hey, instead of doing that, how about me and you plan a baby shower? We find a spot, we plan for the baby's birth. You know what she say? I need to get on the road and get to this money and that baby shower and all So she's like I don't need to do none of that. I'm about to go get it. I said, damn. All right, big dog. Fuck it. So she goes on bad disease. You know, I'm paying close attention. I'm watching. She's getting treated like a contestant on the show. And it's really making me mad because I'm like, your baby father is a blue face. You're Krishan Rock. Why are you on a show with like a bunch of no offense to anybody, but like with a bunch of just, you know, regular people that's trying to brighten their horizon. But whatever, she goes on there. It's not what she thinks. Nobody fights for her like she thought. Nobody does what she says on command. So then she hits my phone. Oh, I'm ready to come home. Pastor Mike told me I should come back and I should try it out with you because he's seen all these tattoos. The bitch said her. She said her pastor told her to come back and do the right thing with me. And the bitch still didn't listen. She got the word straight from God to the pastor to her. Yo, you should kind of go back and really try harder with, with Blue because you got all these tattoos of him. So it must have been something that led you up to this point. You should see that through. All right. That's what she's telling me. She's telling me, oh, I went to church. After she beat the white girl, or had her friends beat the white girl, she told me, oh, I went to church and the pastor told me I should come back to you. I said, damn, that's what the pastor said? And, uh, all right, shit, shout out the pastor. He knows something, right? He knows something. Boom. So that's when she leaves Baddie's East. She comes back. I got a whole family in my house. I told her, look, I will be homeless with you until we find a spot. So I leave my house and I stay in the hotel with her. I'm in the hotel with her, right? So boom, this is when I got stabbed. So I leave her in the hotel room. Hey, I'm finna go to the gym and work out. You stay here and chill. It was an early morning workout. She tired, I'm like, just chill. Go to the gym, get a workout and boom, I get stabbed. Hit her, yo, I just got stabbed. We had appointments to see places, penthouses. I wanted to get a penthouse. Boom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, instead of going to get stitched up, going to do anything, I go back to the hotel to make sure we make these appointments to see these penthouses. Right? I got a whole gash in my leg. I'm walking, stump, stemming around, looking at these penthouses for her and the baby to have some, you know, something. Then... I got to go to Atlanta to do the Smasher Pass. They got some bread for me. They got some bread for me. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. Take the bitch with me. We get there. It's time for me to go handle this business. I'm telling her, like, yo, I don't want to bring no pregnant girl to this to this social thing. You know, it's going to affect, you know, my program. She instantly make it about her. Oh, I'm not cool enough to come with you. I came with you out here. You mean, I need to go with you. What do we win? We argue. Hey, you know me. I'm out of here. I'm, I just told you what I'm about to do. I'm out of here. Guess what she do? Tit for tat. 
She lead a room. She at Clark Atlanta University. She over here. She over there. All on my dime. I'm like, cool. I'm not mad. Fuck it. Rock gonna do what she wanna do. That's where I got mad at. Later that night, around 12 a.m., we supposed to meet up. I end up going to this restaurant with everybody from the little shit. She hit me talking about she got some food for me. So I don't order food at the restaurant. I'm like, my bitch got some food for me. She pull up. I, she pull up. I'm like, where the food at? I'm hangry at this point. She said, oh, I threw it out. It was nasty. Huh? So I don't get to try the food? Like, you just gonna... I've been sitting at this restaurant all night waiting for you, thinking you got some food for me. And you get here and you tell me you threw the food away because it was nasty. So I'm instantly heated. Like, that's so selfish. Boom. We get back to the room. I need to smoke. Where the weed? Where the backwoods? Oh, I smoked all the backwoods. I don't know where to do. We don't have... You don't got no food. You don't got no backwoods. You're... Oh, my God. I'm mad. I'm bleeding a bitch. Go get me some backwoods right now. The bitch leave the room, act like she finna go get me some backwoods, and never comes back. I'm texting her, worried, like, damn, you okay? Is everything all right? She missed Mind you, we got an appointment to see a house at 12 p.m. The flight is at 5 a.m. She didn't like none of the penthouses, so I upped it. I said, all right, you don't want to be in the penthouse because you feel like it's giving apartment vibes. All right, fuck it. Let's go get a rent a house out she missed the flight i get on the flight at 5 a.m by myself haven't heard from her then the next day she had a little baby restaurant leaving taste test reviews i'm like this is what you're doing like you just missed okay fuck it from that day forward i texted my financial advisor my real estate agent, Jason Lee, and his party promoter. I said, cancel the house, cancel the baby shower. I'm done with her. Her priorities is f Blueface says, I don't got a cap because I'm really the truth, really a good stand-up guy for real. She wanted this to be this way and then make me out to be a bad guy. Why she ain't mentioned this? Hey, what don't you like about it? Say it, give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> you hide it. Mm. You hide it. Blueface then says, literally tried to plan for all of this. I told her, hey, instead of Baddie's Ease, we should do a baby shower and get a spot. She chose to do Baddie's Ease instead of planning for the baby. I don't know how I'm wrong at all of this at this point. It's a lot that led up to this she's not admitting to. That's why I'm standing on business and not entertaining her new situation. He then says them bills would have been paid for, but she rather chase and you know what. Blueface then says she fumbled and not me. Them penthouses was over player, but I think she in competition with Jaden for real. If I were to be honest, she stepped out of her lane trying to get in her lane. But you can't compete where you don't compare. For real, Jaden is really her cook, clean, and other things, and a good mother like Jaden, a real powerhouse all around solid, no flaw. If Jaden was doing all of that, Blueface would not be cheating on Jaden. And Blueface is proven that he tried to help Krishan, but obviously you can tell the way she was looking in the video that she did not like the penthouse, and the penthouse looked real good. But you guys let me know your thoughts on this. How do you feel about Blueface proving that he tried to help Krishan? Also, let me know how you feel about the tea he spilled. So that's it for the video, guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.